Imagine our universe, an endless expanse filled with countless stars. Now imagine each of these stars representing a piece of information, a tiny fragment of the vast knowledge we share. This immense and intricate expanse of data is what we call the Internet, a digital universe of its own. Just like we need precise coordinates to locate a star in the sky, we need specific addresses to find information online. This is where IP addresses come in. They are the cosmic messengers that connect us to the digital universe, guiding data to its destination. Think of sending a letter to a friend or family member. You wouldn't send it without an address, as it would never reach the intended recipient. The same principle applies to the Internet. Without an address, data would be lost in the vast digital expanse. Every device connected to this digital cosmos has a unique identifier known as its IP address, ensuring it can be found. This unique identifier ensures that data packets reach their intended destinations accurately and efficiently. Without IP addresses, the Internet would be a chaotic jumble of data with no way to organize or direct the flow of information. These numerical addresses bring order to the chaos, enabling seamless communication and information sharing across the globe, making our digital interactions possible. Just as the cosmos relies on precise laws of physics to maintain order, the Internet depends on IP addresses to function smoothly and efficiently. In essence, an IP address is a numerical label assigned to each device on a network. This allows devices to identify and communicate with one another. These addresses are the backbone of the Internet, enabling everything from sending emails to streaming videos. IP addresses are like unique phone numbers for our devices. When you send data, it's like making a call. Your device uses the recipient's IP address to ensure the data reaches its destination. Without these addresses, data packets would be lost in the vast expanse of the Internet. These addresses are crucial for routing data packets across networks. Routers, the traffic controllers of the Internet, use IP addresses to direct data to its destination. Just like a GPS uses coordinates to guide you, routers rely on IP addresses to deliver information accurately. As the internet grew, we faced a significant problem, running out of unique addresses to assign to each device. The original addressing system, known as IPv4, uses 32-bit addresses, which seemed sufficient at the time of its creation. However, this system limits us to around 4.3 billion unique addresses. In today's increasingly connected world, with billions of devices from smartphones to smart refrigerators, this number is simply not enough. To solve this issue, we developed IPv6, a new system that uses 128-bit addresses. This new system allows for a mind-boggling 340 undecillion unique addresses. To put that into perspective, it's enough for every grain of sand on Earth to have its own IP address and still have plenty left over. This vast address space essentially future-proofs the Internet, ensuring that it can continue to grow and accommodate more devices for many years to come. Think of it like this. If IPv4 addresses were like phone numbers in a small town, IPv6 would be like having phone numbers for every person on Earth, and then some. This analogy helps us understand the scale of the upgrade. This enormous address space ensures that we won't run out of unique identifiers as more and more devices come online, making our digital galaxy ever-expanding and interconnected. Not all IP addresses are created equal. We have public and private IP addresses. Public IPs are like your home address, visible to the entire internet. Private IPs are internal to your network, like giving names to rooms within your house. Your router acts as a gateway between your home network and the internet. It uses a single public IP address to communicate with the outside world. Inside your home network, your router assigns private IP addresses to each device. This system is efficient and secure. Your router acts as a gatekeeper, shielding your individual devices from direct access from the Internet. This separation of public and private IPs is crucial for maintaining network security. Section 5, DNS, the Internet's phone book. Remembering long strings of numbers is difficult. That's where DNS comes in. DNS, or Domain Name System, translates human-readable domain names like google.com, into numerical IP addresses that computers understand. 
Consider DNS as the internet's phone book. When you type in a website name, your computer contacts a DNS server to find its corresponding IP address. This process happens behind the scenes, making it seamless for users to access websites without memorizing complex numerical addresses. Without DNS, we'd be stuck typing in long, difficult to remember IP addresses to access websites. This system is a vital part of the internet's infrastructure, making it user-friendly and accessible. Section 6, Dynamic versus Static IPs, Adapting to the Digital Flow, IP addresses can be either dynamic or static. Dynamic IPs are assigned automatically by your ISP and can change periodically. Static IPs, on the other hand, remain the same. Most home internet users have dynamic IP addresses. This is a cost-effective solution for ISPs as they don't need to manage a large pool of static addresses. Dynamic IPs are suitable for everyday internet use, such as browsing, streaming and email. Static IPs are typically used for web hosting, email servers and other applications requiring a permanent online presence. Having a static IP ensures that the server is always reachable at the same address, which is crucial for businesses and online services. Section 7. IP Addresses and Security Guardians of the Digital Realm IP addresses play a vital role in network security. Firewalls, for instance, use IP addresses to control network traffic. They act like security guards, blocking unauthorized access based on IP rules. Blacklisting is another security measure that relies on IP addresses. If a particular IP address is associated with malicious activity, it can be blacklisted. Preventing it from accessing a network or server, this helps protect against cyber attacks and data breaches. By monitoring and managing IP addresses, network administrators can enhance security and protect sensitive data. This is particularly important in today's interconnected world where cyber threats are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Section 8 NAT and Port Forwarding – Navigating the Data Streams In this section we will delve into the intricacies of how data flows through networks, focusing on two key concepts – network address translation and port forwarding. Network Address Translation, or NAT, is a technique used to share a single public IP address among multiple devices on a private network. This method is crucial for conserving the limited number of public IP addresses available. This is how most home networks operate, allowing multiple devices to access the Internet using a single IP address from the ISP. Imagine a family with smartphones, tablets and computers all online simultaneously. NAT makes this possible. Port forwarding, on the other hand, allows you to make a specific device or service on your network accessible from the internet. This is particularly useful for applications that require direct access from external networks. For example, if you want to host a game server on your computer, you can use port forwarding to direct incoming traffic on a specific port to your computer's IP address. This ensures that gamers from around the world can connect to your server without any issues. These techniques are essential for managing network traffic and enabling specific applications to work correctly. Without NAT and port forwarding, our ability to efficiently use the internet would be severely limited. NAT conserves public IP addresses, while port forwarding provides a way to bypass NAT for specific services. Together, they form the backbone of modern network management, ensuring seamless connectivity and efficient use of resources. Section 9. The Future of IP Addresses Expanding the Digital Frontier As we continue to connect billions of devices to the Internet, the demand for IP addresses will only grow. This is where IPv6 comes into play, offering a vast address space to accommodate the Internet of Things, smart cities and other emerging technologies. IPv6 is not just about having more addresses, it also brings improvements in security, network efficiency and support for mobile devices. This transition to IPv6 is essential for the continued growth and evolution of the Internet. The future of the Internet relies on our ability to adapt and expand its underlying infrastructure. IPv6 is a crucial step in this direction, ensuring that the Internet can continue to connect people and devices for generations to come. Section 10. The Enduring Importance of IP Addresses In the grand scheme of the Internet, IP addresses might seem like a technical detail, however they are the unsung heroes that make everything work. 
They are the foundation upon which the digital world is built, enabling seamless communication and data exchange across the globe. From sending emails to browsing the web, from streaming videos to online gaming, virtually everything we do online relies on IP addresses. They are the invisible force that connects us all, making the internet the powerful tool it is today. As we venture further into the digital age, the importance of IP addresses will only continue to grow. Understanding this fundamental concept allows us to appreciate the complexity and ingenuity of the internet and its profound impact on our lives.